Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the landing area now, obviously, and uh, I have the honor and privilege to speak with one of the most experienced, most successful, longest standing formation skydiving competitors in the history. And Kurt Eisenberger, please allow me to be once in the picture together with you. I'm okay. going to do a selfie two Kurt. now. Two Kurt. <laughs> two Kurt. There he is. There are the two of us. And Kurt, you're waiting for something. That's right. Waiting for the new and hopefully improved Golden Knight 8 way team to land. Uh, it's a new team, two new players, and uh, a little bit of slot switching around there to uh, keep the dream alive. and. Uh, keep on winning gold medals. Well, the only thing with the more improved uh, Golden Knights a team, that will be literally impossible because they lost their val most valuable player probably. Well, every team, you know, uh, goes, through, goes through team members and guys move on. And uh, one thing about a uh, skydiving team is, you know, they uh, end up finding a way to, to get better and keep on improving. I think this team right here will, will definitely be able to do that. Glad you're still here, at least the alternate, and you're ready to step in whenever necessary. But um, you, the team left, went for round one, and you s mentioned earlier it was probably the first competition jump of the Golden Knight for since a very, very long time without Kurt Eisenberger. Yeah, that's right. I've been around for quite a long time and been part of the eight-way team and or four-way team at the same time. And uh, that's, I don't remember when I ever watched the, the eight-way team get on the airplane and take off for round one without, without me being part of it. So how did that feel like? A little bit bittersweet. Uh, I, I'm not at a point yet or I've been a, away from the sport and been away from competition that I miss it too much. I'm glad that I'm uh, in the alternate slash coach role and uh, I feel like uh, it was a good time to let them. There. Of, sorry, here we go. One, no one problem. One of your old friends, one of your very old friends from Russia in the same as That's some true. Other. Many competitions <laughs> with him and uh, lots of good times and, and, and big smiles with, with uh, the Russian team. When did it all begin for you? All began, well, we back it up to past 1998. My first nationals was 1995 and uh, with a civilian, uh, s slightly sponsored civilian team and uh, met the Golden Knights in 95 and came active duty in the Army in 96, made, made the team, spent a year on the demo team in 1997 and made the eight-way team in 1998 and I've been uh, doing it since then. Are you still doing four-way with Matt and, and Jen and Sean, I think it was, at the Paraclete meet? Or? That was just kind of a throw together. We decided to go ahead and do that, and we, we had a plan to do some maybe 100 jumps this year at four-way uh, to go to the Nationals and compete. We still plan on doing that, but we had some uh, a little bit of downtime uh, with some, some of the different guys with injuries and whatnot, so we didn't get all the eight-way jumps we wanted, so that meant we didn't get any four-way practice. But uh, we still plan on doing uh, four-way at Nationals in Paris this year. I actually may, ended up making about 80 jumps as the alternate this year due to some injuries. What are you doing now? Are you, I mean, you're still with the Army? You're still serving? That's correct. Yeah, active duty. We're still with the Golden Knights. And my main job right now is the, as the alternate and uh, coach for the eight-way team. Oh, you're the coach for the eight-way team officially? Yes. Well, that, that's great. You have, you have a big job there. It's a, it's a good job, yep, and uh, hopefully I'm able to pass along enough experience uh, to them and uh, they can continue uh, continue the uh, history of, of winning. Well, you got a wealth of eight-way experiences, so I guess uh, they cannot have somebody better. Who, I mean, you know the Golden Knights better than anybody. Well, how about Matt? He's about the same. Yeah, Matt and I are pretty much in the same, same boat. He made the team. Uh, actually in 1993 before I did uh, he spent a few years away from the team that came back but uh, as far as experience level Matt and I are pretty much right there at the same same level it seems like a little change though I mean the go the Golden Knights team captain used to be more or less a coach in the past so now you're kind of more like an external coach well one thing about the Golden Knights we've never actually had a coach uh, you know an eight-way coach so we kind of had to you know pick apart 
jumps and train uh, without without an outside view, and it, it made it actually difficult. There's there's you know always personalities at play, and it made it tough to always uh, <clears throat> analyze the jumps the way they should should be. But as a, now we've got uh, a coach, somebody that's not making the jumps can sit back and kind of point the finger and not have to <laughs> worry about you know fingers coming back at them you get a, a more transparent view of, it, of every jump sounds like an advantage to me i think so yeah it, it, it's good to have somebody there that uh, can can have a uh, unbiased uh, opinion unbiased view of the jumps more of the u.s delegation Okay, then um, we are here now. What's going on in Eightway? We're here for round one. Actually, we're waiting for the Golden Knights. They should be landing pretty soon, I guess. It's round one. What, what, is there any opposition here? Definitely some opposition. We've got the Russian team. Seems like they will be probably the biggest opposition. Obviously, Belgium and France, uh, highly qualified skydivers. I don't think they put the as much effort into Eightway and have a highly as trained team as we do. I know they had some trade outs and got some new new uh, blood coming in and I don't think they made the uh, jump numbers that that we did uh, that again they're always out there you never know at a world at a world level competition what can happen but I would uh, right now guess that the Russians are going to be uh, the, the biggest competition here at the meet. Okay, well, we will know in a little while after round one. Um, thanks very much, Kurt, for now. We're going to wait here a little bit and see uh, what they have to say. You're going to ask them, I'm sure. Definitely, we're going to find out. Uh, round one was a big one. It was a uh, memory jump, and uh, they sat on it for a couple of days, which always makes it tough, you know, when you're waiting on weather and thinking about that jump. Uh, it's, it definitely adds to the, to the tension for that first round. All right, well now you make me really curious. Okay, let's give it a few minutes. All Thanks, right. Kurt. No problem. Thank you, Kurt. All right, now here we are now. The Golden Knights are just about to land for, and uh, I think Kurt will probably be the first, he, since he's the coach, he'll be the first one tr wanting to find out what's going on or how it was. Are they landing all right, Kurt? Well, I would say, judging from their landings, they had a pretty good jump. Believe it or not, it looks like they're in a good mood down there and some some hearty high fives already. So I'd be willing to bet that they had a, a solid jump and happy with uh, first round. That first <laughs> round's tough. You never know. You know body language. <laughs> yeah, I do now. You don't have to hear the words. Yeah, it looks like uh, when when you can tell generally when they get down and, and uh, their, their, their body language says it all. You're spending enough time with them, right? Just as much as if you were jumping. Yep, a few, uh, I've done a few round ones. That's, that's always the hardest one of the meet, get that, get that one out of the way and then kind of find your groove. You've so. probably done more round ones uh, than anybody here in St. Louis this week. I'm not sure if I could say that, I know in 1998, competing in, in Ever Portugal, my first international meet, there's some of those, uh, some of the Russian guys were there, so I think they've got quite a few too. Yeah, that's true. The Russians are here, so we <laughs> we got a good group of experienced we competitors. Got a equal amount of gray hair as I do, so maybe an equal amount of round ones. Yeah, there's a lot of high fiving going on, no doubt. Um, we cannot see that very well from here with the GoPro, too far away, but. Um, they will come closer, I guess, and then I'll, I'll have the hidden camera somewhere. I cannot really hide it, but let's see. Go, Dave. <laughs> and Dave Flynn is, oh, that's Dave Flynn coming. He's the youngest competitor. Hi, Sean. How did it go, Sean? He's a new member. And then, of course, we also have the new member, 
Jennifer Davidson. What was your first uh, competition jump in Aidway? Oh man, I wish I could bottle the round one jitters. I wish I could bottle that and sell it. <laughs> it's great. Well, you can tell me, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, I mean, going up for round one, it's it's just it's like the best and the worst feeling at the same time. <laughs> I guess you're not alone with that, huh? No, I, probably not. Well, congratulations uh, for making it. <laughs> Okay, well, now let's uh, ask again. It was a good yeah, one, I guess. I think they uh, had a pretty good round, you know. They know as the skydive's going on whether things are clicking the way they should be, and it uh, sounds like uh, the opinion is uh, overwhelming. They had a good jump. So. All right, go do your job. Thanks a lot, Kurt. Good luck.